What's up, people? My name is Trent. For those of you that don't know me, I'm also known as Father Diff. And today I want to talk to you guys about the 35 millimeter versus the 85 millimeter. And which one do you prefer? So we're going to take pictures with both of them. And make sure you guys can see the difference between a kind of wide lens like the 35 and a more zoomed lens like an 85. When I say zoom, I don't mean actual like zooming in, but a more of a higher focal length with the 85. And we're gonna go ahead and test that out right now. We're not even gonna waste time. So you got, you remember him? Julio, if I must introduce myself. <laughs> Here we got homeboy, Jeff. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna take a few pictures with both of them so you can see how it looks and compare the two so you can really understand the difference in a 35 and an 85 and what they mainly use for. So with the 35, you don't have to worry about being so far back. You can get as close as you want to to the subject without it blurring up or looking weird. So here's a quick tip. When I'm taking pictures, I try to bag up far enough from the subject because I'm gonna crop it. So when I'm cropping, <laughs> because I know it needs to be an eight by, it's an eight and a half by 10 for Instagram. So I try to make sure that I can still crop that picture and everything's still in frame without me cutting off the feet or the arms or the head. So I'm thinking of using this spot right here. So I'm thinking about getting him right in between the trees, you know, to kind of frame him per se, you know, so you can have some guided lines. And I think this would be perfect. Hey, I should do glasses with no glasses. Uh, damn, you should try to, I think no glasses first and then try something with the glass. Pictures real Got them hands. Good hands. difference I kind of shifted over if you can see me. I shifted over so he wasn't standing in front of that tree directly behind him now he's more so in the center of all four trees now we're gonna get closer up and we're gonna take this from a 3.2 to a 1.4 so you can see that Buka. I'm probably saying it wrong but I feel like that's what it's called Is just basically all right so I don't even want to lie to you guys because that was exactly what I was about to do um, <laughs> so buka is not the compression I don't know why I had that backwards buka is actually the quality of the blur that you see in the picture so if we look at it according to Wikipedia it says the aesthetic quality of the blur produced in the outer focus parts of an image produced by a lens that is also depending on the aperture blades in the camera. How many of them blades, the better the circle. Just wanted to clear that up before we go any further. Well, now I know now about right here, to. Trent. iPhone? The iPhone for this. Everybody can't do it though. Okay. Kids, don't try this at home. It's not meant for everyone. Everybody can't be an Instagram model off iPhone pictures. You gotta <laughs> know your finesse, man. <laughs> Been doing it too long. All right, so I just switched to the 85 and I'm trying to figure out where I want to take them. Right now I'm thinking that red wall right there, not sure, but we may switch it up and do something else. It just depends because normally what we do is we walk around, find spots that we like and we shoot there. Um, 
pregame. Let's get to it. Let's go. Let's go walk. Yeah, boy, about to get hit though. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. They ain't driving that fast. Oh God, they really just ain't. They gonna have to hit me. All right, so we're gonna use this pink wall right here. I, I guess you could say that's pink or like fuchsia. Is that pink or fuchsia? Color of the wall, what is it? Huh? The color of the wall, what is it? It's more, I would say like a salmon red, but it's darker than salmon. Yeah, it's definitely dark. Um, it's kind of like in between maroon. It's like a mix of maroon and salmon, if that makes sense. Close enough, that'll work. <laughs> so we're gonna go with maroon or salmon -ish. I'm gonna frame them really doesn't matter where I frame them because they're going to be from waist up. Remember, the 85 is mainly used for like headshots, portraits. But I'm going to do a whole body too, and I want you to see the distance that I have to move back when doing that. All right, so I'm going to try to make a little separation between him and the background just to kind of get a gap so it doesn't necessarily make a shadow from him on the wall. So I'm probably going to like maybe a foot in front of it just to, you know. You'll see. I'm just gonna move the camera so you can see. Exactly how far I have to bag up. So the higher the focal length, the bigger, uh, I got Jeff in front of the white background just to kind of complement the white in his shorts and everything and the color in his shoes. So, you gotta see how this looks. So we're gonna swap back to the 35 and we're gonna compare the two of them so you can just get an understanding of the distance you have to be when using each. You can kind of see the compression that it does in the background. So we're gonna find a few things to have in the background so you can see it kind of fade away or whatever, or blur out. And we're gonna go over the price of it and really just, it's a net, man and just figure out which one's gonna be better for what you plan to do. Me personally, which one I use the most, I'm not gonna tell you just yet. Or even the detail in that wall. I bet I heard you. Hey. I'm trying to explain to them. All right, so now we're back with the 35 and what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take pictures of both of them and there's not really much separation in them in the background so you really won't be able to see how blurred it is until i ask them to step out a little bit further so we're going to do that right now
see these exit signs, you're gonna see the compression that it does. I'm gonna try to stay in the same spot and have Julio to stand in the same spot also, so that way you can see the difference in between what it's really gonna do. I'm on my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut, hey, you want us for a run when I tell a peace Love is love, love is love, I need Bendo, bendo with the switch again Boy, deliver like he happening Core with digits Alright, so now we're gonna go back, or I'm gonna go back home I'm, I'm gonna look over these, and I'm gonna make sure that what I'm saying is actually correct <laughs> invalid so that's pretty much it for me today as far as the 85 and the 35 when I pick back up this camera I should be at home and we're gonna compare them side by side the difference between the 85 and the 35 and I'll see you when I get back It's not that I don't like it, but it's like, I don't really know how I feel about it either. Yeah, so Audition, which is what I record the audio through, crash, and also memory card filled up on the 1DX. So yeah, I'm not too happy about that, but it is what it is. So I wanna look at a few of these pictures, of course, is this is not the same day. I had some other things to take care of at first, but if we look at this picture with Julio standing right in front of this exit sign at the bank, this is a 35 at 1.4 and you see how much of the environment or the background is in this picture. You know, you have the two columns on the side of him and you can see the little driveway where they pull in the cars or whatever. And you have so much of the ceiling in the picture also. And that's because this is a wide lens. Whereas if we switch over to the 85 at 1.4, you can tell that Jeff is in focus. You see that, that's obvious. But if you look at it, you'll see that the exit sign is in the picture, but you won't see anything else other than the ceiling because the compression is a lot stronger on here. And also if you look at this exit sign in the 85, that looks like a straight red blur. You can barely tell what it is. Whereas if we go back to the 35, you can tell what it is, kinda, but if you really, really had to look at it, you have a better chance at looking at a 35 than you would the 85 to figure out what that was. So that's the example of the compression of these two lenses. Now also keep in mind that these two pictures were taken at the same distance and you see how much changes. Now with Jeff, I had to shoot at a lower angle to get them. Otherwise, it probably would've been like just straight shoulder to shoulder from edge to edge. I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to make sure that you could see that exit sign right behind them. Now there's another two that I wanna look at, which is Julio with this 85 1.4 and it's a headshot. And to me, that looks good. So if you're taking headshots with the 85 1.4, this is what it's gonna look like. You know, you're gonna get that good, good, good 1.4 aperture. And as you can see, we hit the focus on his eye. Looks really good. And if we go over to this 35, you have the 1.4 aperture and he's in focus, but I focus on his shades because he had shades on obviously I can't get his eyes. And it looks good, but I'll go with the 85 because it just looks so much better. It's like it's still too much in focus. All right, so out of what you've seen today, which one do you prefer? The 35 or the 85? 
I mean, which one do you think you want to buy or which one do you use the most if you already have them? Me personally, I like my 35. Why? Because it's way more versatile than the 85. When you have the 85, you're more restricted, you know? You can't get as close, you can't get as many people in the frame unless you're bagged all the way up. But if I'm doing headshots, oh, best believe, I'm gonna get my 85. So just keep that in mind. I use the 35 for portraits and landscapes, whereas the 85, I use it for B-roll and headshots. That's what I use it for. Let me know what you guys use it for. But I hope this was a clear example of the 85 and the 35 being compared to just see how they look. This isn't an in-depth of tech and specs of both of them. No, this ain't that. I just wanted to show you guys a few pictures of how it looks. And I'm gonna put the prices up so you can dictate which one is within your budget or how much you wanna spend on one. If you guys enjoyed this, I really appreciate it. If you guys learned something, I really appreciate that. And if you did like it, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. I love you for that. I really would. Appreciate it, guys. Next time, I'm out. Let me try one more time. Ah. Uh. I need some cream. I need, I need more cream. I put milk in it and uh, apparently that didn't, that didn't do any justice.